Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Terry here, 2 6 player, golf fantasy trail. Now, I had a request on doing a left handed swing, and what I did was I flipped my swing around on my software. Uh, not actually swinging left handed, but uh, what I'm going to do, and this is for Curtis, and thanks for your suggestion, Curtis, because I know there's other left handed golfers on the network. Um, and what I've done is I've just basically drawn all the 2 6 setup, okay? Uh, see how the grip, see how my grip is stronger. It's set up to where it's actually leaning, it's actually pointing outside my rear shoulder. Um, i got a little more weight on my lead leg. My club's going to go straight back off the ball. i got the triangle going here, got the head position. I've got a slight knee, knee indention on my lead knee. I'm, I'm sorry, my rear knee. I've got my knee pinched in a little bit. And what that does, guys, is that just basically nudges my hip forward just a little bit. Okay? Now, I'm going to come off the ball, and I'm going to leave these here because um, I want to show you the model. So as I, when I come off the ball, okay, you see how my club comes straight straight back to here. And how I start my backswing, guys, on the takeaway is I start with moving my sh bigger muscles on my big shoulder. Because if I tried to move my arms and my wrists, they'd get too active. So if I think about just moving my big shoulder unit, then everything else will follow. Okay, so as I come back off the ball, okay, I try to stay in, in, my, in my posture here, okay, as you see the club gets the parallel, okay. Now, on, on the takeaway, guys, let me come back here. On the takeaway, all right, the club head, okay, which is here, obviously, the club head here is going to stay outside my hands, okay, because my wrist haven't moved. My wrist, my wrist hasn't, they haven't rotated at all. They've just basically come straight off the ball. Now, once I get to parallel, once I get to about here, my wrist starts to rotate, and what's helping my wrist rotate is the weight of my club head. Okay, my club head now is able to take me around my body. Okay, now notice when I get to my backswing, notice how solid I'm staying. Notice how centered I'm staying. Now, the head can go back a little bit on the takeaway and backswing. Okay, that's fine. Okay, because you want this head to be behind the ball at impact. But, but notice how my body is centered. Okay, I haven't swayed off the ball. My hip actually has gone back, not over, not swaying over. Okay, now, as I come down through the ball, when I drop my arms, if my head position stays where it's supposed to, which it is, now what's happening, guys, is my head position is locking my shoulders back. My shoulders cannot come over the top because this 15-pound weight, dead weight overhanging over my body, okay, um, that, the, the head weighs about 11 pounds by nature, and then if it's hanging over something, then it fits a little bit more. So this big weight of your head right here is just it's, uh, locking your shoulders back. And when it does that, I get all the lag I need to come in through the ball. Okay, notice my body is still centered. Notice I'm getting the power from the ground. Okay, notice how my hips are firing automatically because if the, if the head can lock the shoulders back, okay, the energy coming up from the ground is going to release my hips automatically. Okay. Now as I come down through the ball, notice how I get almost back to parallel, okay, with the shaft, okay. As I get through the ball, notice how the head stays back, notice the ball strike, okay, notice how everything on the lead side has now lined up. Okay, the shoulder, the arm, the legs, the knee, the hip, uh, the foot, notice how I'm getting the power from the ground. I have not totally twisted out of my, my downswing, okay, I've kept my... My knee's linear, everything is moving down the path, down the swing line. Solid contact, the ball goes straight. Now, here is the only place where your arms, okay, need to be extended. This is the only place where you have full, what we call full extension. Okay, shaft is fully extended, arms are fully extended. Okay, then you can come up to your follow-through. Okay, and have a nice even follow-through uh, to your target. Okay, so that's how you swing the golf club, guys. This is left-handed, but again, we can all do this, obviously, right or left-handed. But uh, but I appreciate you, Curtis, you know, with the suggestion of doing the left-handed swing. I uh, hope all this helps, guys. Practice this. It's a very easy concept. It's a very easy concept to do two six because now your practices are going to be a lot more productive on the driving range or on the uh, on the chipping range. Okay, Terry Bradley here again, two six player, golf fantasy trail. I will talk to you in the next parasol.